In this tutorial, I will taught you everything, how to create this light beam, how to make this tree and how to animate it. Also this wire, everything except the pattern which are you seeing in the top. I will taught you this pattern in my next tutorial which I will release in next week on our channel Think Sci-Fi. First of all, delete cube and point light, then press 1 for front view press 0 in number pad for camera view select the camera then in output property change the camera resolution according to me 1080 is to 1080 is good for this scene you can play with it then go to camera setting and change the focal length then in object property play with location and rotation for the best camera angle you can play with these values later in the tutorial also but I will make this scene according to my camera view. That's why I am selecting the values first. Then again go to camera setting in viewport display. Increase passport to focus only in the camera view. Now add a torus by pressing shift A. Click on the add torus in the left side. This will give you some options to make changes in the torus you can play with major and minor radius of the torus minor radius is for changes is for making changes in the inner part of the torus and major radius is to make changes in the overall torus so increase major radius to 1.5 if you click anywhere else the option will get disappear here you can make changes in the major radius anytime by clicking s key but what if you want to change the minor radius for that go to edit mode by pressing tab key click alt s on your keyboard this will allow you to make changes in the minor radius now play with your value now come back to object mode by pressing tab key again press 0 for camera view and adjust the torus in the z location on the top side of the camera view also rotate it little bit in X and Y location if you feel this space is too much then make a duplicate of torus and adjust it just above add a plane and scale it by pressing S key then adjust it in Y location also play with the scale value of X and Y Select the torus and make a duplicate by pressing shift D. Then scale it down by pressing S key. I want to reduce its minor radius. For that go to edit mode by pressing tab key then click alt S. Then reduce it. Come back to object mode by pressing tab key. And move it a little bit downward in Z location. Make one more duplicate of it by pressing shift D. Also reduce its inner red minor radius in the same way and move it little bit downward in Z location. Play with the scale value if you want. Now we will add some add-ons for that. Go to edit preferences add-ons. Search tree here and, and click on the box to make it active. Then type one more add-on extra and check the box now when you press shift a you can see the options in the curve menu all the extra object and the tree menu select the spline tree gen this will add a tree and branches with a menu in left side of your screen there is bunch of option in this menu in setting you will toggle many options like branch radius branch growth leaf animation which we will see one by one. First of all, play with scale and scale variations value. Play with branch distribution value. If you want more branch, increase it. If you want less branch, decrease it. You can also play with branch rings and seed value. To understand the tree size correctly, add the leaf first. For that go to setting and select leaf, leaves. Active the leaf by clicking 
so leaves now play with its scale value also play with leaves down and rotation values if you want to increase the number of leaves increase its in leaves then again in setting go to branch growth and here you can play with all the values related to branch growths again in setting go to branch splitting and play with the values to see what is looking good for your scene go to branch radius in setting and here also you can play with the values now if you are satisfied with your tree shape and you want to add animation to it then go to amateur in setting and active use amateur option then go to animation in setting and enable all the three option now when you move your mouse over the 3d viewport and press space bar you can see the animation of tree again press the space bar to pause the animation and play with overall wind strength and animation speed according to your scene i am reducing both the values after making changes play your animation and see whether it is looking good or not if required you can play with the values i am tweaking all the values and seeing what looks best for me you can also play with the values and choose your best result and one important thing during this process do not click anywhere as in the 3d viewport otherwise you will lose this menu so remember it in your mind if you are satisfied with your animation then then don't forget to uncheck fast preview now click on any object to disappear this menu in viewer layer you can see tree is in two part tree and leaves so you can apply two different material one for leaf and one for the stem rotate the tree in the z rotation if you want some different part of tree to visible from the camera view add a cylinder because we will make a base for tree adjust both tree and the base in z location select the torus 003 and make a duplicate of it and bring it downward near the base of tree then adjust its rotation location and scale value according to the base and if you want to reduce its minor radius again follow the same steps select both the bottom part one by one by pressing shift key then make a duplicate of it by pressing shift d then press shift z so that this duplicate part do not move in z location and adjust it location scale it down little bit by pressing s key then press s z so that it will not scale down in z value 
if you are satisfied with the position then make few more duplicates of it and do not forget to press shift z while moving or scaling so that it will not move in z location or it will not scale in z when it is done it's time to add wire to the scene i will make it very easy and fun for you add a empty object by pressing shift a move it inside the torus or the place where you want to start your wire after selecting the start position make a duplicate of it by pressing shift d and position it where you want the end of your wire after selecting the position select both the empty object one by one by pressing shift key then press shift a curve catenary this will add a curve line between the start position to end position then in bottom left side of the screen you can play with the a value after selecting the curve position go to curve setting then in geometry increase depth little bit now it is looking like wire in this way you can add as many as wire you want just select the empty object and position them one by one where you want your start and end position then select both the empty object by pressing shift key then press shift a curve nodes turny then play with a value and give it some depth in geometry with this similar process add as many as wire you want in your scene please support me on patreon at any level if my tutorial are helping you and you want me to continue uploading tutorials because without financial support it is hard to create content currently i have only one active patreon member and his name is amir nick and i am very thankful to him for supporting for lighting we have to move to cycles select cycles then gpu in viewport select 10 in maximum sampling this will help in making this scene in render view for low specs pc also make the world completely black then add a aerial light by pressing shift a move it in z location then go to shading tab select render view and check use node nodes This will add the nodes which are connected with aerial light. Add mix shader in between. Then add math node and connect it with factor of mix shader. Then add light path and connect ray length to math node and select greater than in math node. Add one more node, hold out and connect it with mix shader. now when you play with math node threshold value you can see the light is moving from top to bottom side you can play with this value as how much amount of light you want to your scene after this add a spotlight by pressing shift a move it also in the z location towards the upper side active use node then increase the emission strength i just forgot to mention in this tutorial to change the color of both the aerial light and spotlight to little bit bluer side or whatever color you want play with the radius of spotlight to make it little bit softer light and increase the spot size in beam shape rotate it little bit in y rotation 
and play with the strength anytime you want of both the light Now we will add volume to the scene. For that, add a cube and scale it so that it will cover the whole scene. Then press Ctrl A and apply the scale. Then press New in Setting tab and rename it. Select Principal BSDF and remove it. Then add Principal Volume. and connect it with volume and play with the density of volumes then select the plane and click new and rename it then add color wrap then noise texture and select noise texture and Press Ctrl T if you have enabled Node Wrangler, otherwise you will enable it in Add-on. Then connect Noise Texture to Color Wrap and Color Wrap to Base Color and Roughness. And play with Color Wrap. Then add Bump Node. Connect it with Normals. Then connect Color Wrap with Bump Height. Now play with all the values or you can add any other material you want. Now we will apply the same ground material to all the 5 cylinders which are connected with ground. For that select all the 5 cylinders one by one by pressing shift key. At last select the ground then press ctrl L and select link material. This will assign the same material to all the object which are selected. Deselect everything by clicking A twice. Now when you select the ground, you can see the number 5 written next to it. This means 5 objects are sharing the same material. And if you make any changes, all the 5 objects will get affected samely. So to make the ground as a separate material, click the number 5. It will separate the ground material from the other 4. Now if you make any changes in ground material, other 4 cylinders are not getting affected with it. Now if you select any cylinder, you can see number 4 written next to it. Which means only 4 objects are sharing the same material. And ground material is now separated from them. Now when you make changes in the material by selecting the any cylinder this will affect all the four cylinders similarly i will apply the same material on this small torus what we apply on the big one which i will taught you in my upcoming tutorial in next week select the fourth torus and apply a material then rename it and add a emission change its color i am selecting blue and also increase the strength. Now select the torus near the bottom side of the tree and add a material then rename it and add emission to it also. I am giving it a little bit orangey color and increasing the strength little bit. Now select the torus next to it and apply the same material in the drop down what you have applied to the previous one. And don't forget to click the number 2 next to it. Change its color and strength value. Now select the rest 3 torus one by one by pressing shift key. And at last select the torus which have the material. Then press ctrl L and select link material. Now select the wire, apply a material and rename it, then add color wrap, then noise texture, then select noise texture and press ctrl T, then object to mapping and noise texture to color wrap and color wrap to base color. Increase the black portion of color wrap and reduce the white portion towards the gray side, increase the metallic 
and decrease the roughness little bit because wire outer body have some sign if cube is disturbing you then select it go to object property then viewport display and select wire in display as this will display cube as wire only in viewport now select rest of the wire one by one by pressing shift key and at last select the wireframe which have the material then press ctrl t and select link material now it's time to add material to tree select this stem and add a material then rename it and add a color what you want to apply to the stem then increase the roughness little bit because tree are little bit tree stems are little bit rough similarly select the leaf apply a material rename it select your base color and decrease the roughness little bit now come back to layout then go to render render image to see whether everything is correct or not but here sampling is too high and it will take too much time to render so press escape key then close it then go to render property and in render maximum sampling just for checking i am selecting 20 here but for final render increase it up to 100 or higher you can compare two or more than two result at a time if you are making something for that select slot 2 then close it and move your timeline or make any changes in your scene then again go to render render image now you can move between slot 1 and slot 2 to compare two result this is very important when you are creating something from yourself you can not only compare two result even many more at a time close it i will add little bit forward motion to the camera go to frame 1 and enter keyframe in z location then go to the last frame add little bit forward motion in the y location then again enter keyframe all done I will tell you how to create the abstract texture on Taurus in my upcoming tutorial. Till then you can learn this abstract animation which I have created with both geometry node and particle system.